personality today, they call him the flute magician, and you will find out why. Throughout our conversation with him, if you want to ask any questions, you know what to do. Use the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550-585832, and I'll do well to ask him on your behalf. And if you're outside Ghana, just use the country code plus 233. Good morning, Della Butchie. Good morning. How, How are, you, are you? Fine. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you so much. Where did your love affair with the flute begin? Uh, way back in 1979 at Russia. Okay. Yes, that's when everything started. Okay. But I always say it's a divine hmm. gift. Okay. Because a pastor saw me playing with a Christmas toy, flute. Then he went to buy me a tenteben, which is the Ghanaian flute. Mm -hmm. He didn't buy me any other instrument. But this instrument that he bought for me has really, really been a blessing in my life wow. until today. At what point did you see that, okay, this isn't just a gift or a hobby, but this is something I want to pursue professionally? That was 1990 when I joined the Pan-African Orchestra. Okay. Because I was, in my mind, I was thinking of how to read music mm -hmm. and write music. So I was thinking of going to Winnibar. Okay. But then, uh, the Nana Danso, late Nana Danso at BM, invited me to join his Pan-African Orchestra. And I realized that he's teaching how to read music mm. and write music. So you learn on so the So I job. was like, oh, this is what <laughs> I want. So I want to be here. How was that experience like for you? It was so fun. I was so serious. Okay. I was thinking about it, that this is my dream come true. Mm. This is what I want to do for Ghana, and this is what I want to do for Africa. Wow. Because in those days, if I play with other musicians who play guitar, keyboard, when they change the key from C to G or F, I'm not able to play. Mm. And I was like, I wish I had gym flute. I could play, <laughs> but I never knew that everything was in the same instrument. So how, how, how is that discipline, like actually learning music itself? You have to be very serious. Music is a very deep thing. You know, apart from the spiritual aspect, it's a very deep thing that you have to really put yourself in it. You have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Because for me, if I'm playing on stage, I don't open my eyes. I close my eyes. Mm. If, I, if I write a music, or if you give me a script of transcription of music, I can, I can learn it by heart and close my eyes and play it. I feel it better than... How? Than more disciplined. What, what, what do you go through as your... What, what goes through your mind? Because it sounds very spiritual as you're explaining it. You know, if, if you go to church uh -huh. and you're praying, you close your eyes because you don't want to see any negative things around. Maybe somebody's wearing nine shoes, somebody, uh, a lady passing somewhere with a nine shirt that can distract you know, you. distract your attention. So normally if I'm on stage, I close all my eyes. Wow. Then I can be in the spirit to, to glorify God first and to make people happy. Okay, so let's talk about your journey as a writer. I mean, how do you compose some of your work? It's a very good question. <laughs> it's a very good question question. I, I do my composition based on my inspiration. Okay. Sometimes I, I, I might be driving mm -hmm. and I will hear some melody in my mind. I remember one of the melodies that came to my mind some years back ago is, um, I call the music um, High Life Jazz. Mm -hmm. So I parked somewhere, the melody was just dropping, dropping, dropping. <laughs> Something was like, pack, pack, pack. So I pack and I start to hum it. Wow. After that, I have to write the notation. Hmm. Then I recorded the song. Sometimes it's very strange. And it's also, just, it just happens like that. It happens like that. And sometimes I do, as we are sitting down here, I can compose music spontaneously. Oh, do it. We need freestyle. You sure? Yes. We're going to okay. be doing freestyle throughout. of it is how you're feeling and your emotions yes you have to put yourself in need first first it comes from your mind 
what are you going to do? You are going to play music, so you have to tune yourself into music. Mm -hmm. So, like I told you earlier on, if I close my eyes, I'm not in the physical world again. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to go to the spirit and then play from the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you are looking at people and you are playing, you are impressing the people. Yeah. Although if you close your eyes, you are impressing them, but something else is touching the heart of the people. So play another one and tell us the story behind it. Some of your... The My own composition. Yes, your okay. own composition. There is this guy who saw me, who worked with uh, one of the TV stations uh -huh. before came to Legon to interview me as we are doing. And he said, he really want me to do some traditional... Um, song for them to use on their montage mm -hmm. morning show and I said no problem so I'm going to play that one for okay. you <laughs> and it goes like this But there are a lot of accompaniments, the xylophone, mm -hmm. the bell, then the box drum. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of accompaniments. What, what goes into that whole thing? This composition goes with xylophone in the key of uh, gym pentatonic, mm -hmm. uh, the bell, the rattle, which is the shakare, we, or the marakash we call, and also the percussion, which is the palongo drum, wow. and also the gonji, which is the fiddle from the northern part of Ghana, hmm. tamale precise. And yes, I named this song Trema. Trema means uh, carries. It's what we normally use as um, currency yeah. in those days before everything changed. Yeah. So it's a, it's a rich music, so I have to f define a name you know, to be given to the music. So I, I named this music Trema in Gan words. Huh? What drives you? To music? Yes. Like or to what, the composition? What, what inspires your life, the path you've chosen? All the things that you've, you, you've done. God. God. Because if you love God, you know how to be humble. I, I don't want to disrespect people who I'm above, I'm older than them, or those that I'm older than them. I don't want to disrespect people. Mm -hmm. I want to respect people. So I always tell my friends that, or my boy that I work with, you will look young all the time if you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, if you look smart, if you smile all the time, sometimes things pain me, but I have to take it more easier to, to get music, to overcome. But if God is love, and you love God, and you have to love music, and music will make you happy. Mm -hmm. Because this world we are passing through, is a transition. We came from somewhere we don't have an idea. We are here, we don't know where we are going. So we need to make sure we have love, of God. I have not seen God before, but if God say I created man as my own image, I can see God in you. Mm -hmm. I can see God in myself. Mm -hmm. So that is the communication and this is my inspiration I use all the time. Wow. How important is it for young musicians to invest in their craft and actually learn it the right way than saying I have a talent, I'm just gonna run with it and start start playing. Well there are different kinds of talent people Working around, I started with my attainment, mm -hmm. and my interest was there. Or oh, that's where my calling is. And somebody will invest into the music or the craft. Maybe he wants to be a recording artist. It's also there. But music is a broad thing. It's a very deep thing. I teach music, I play music, and lecture music. Mm. So I lecture for in various universities around the world, including. University of uh, Colorado mm. in the U.S., Basel University, you know, so this is where my craft has taken me because this is, I'm talking about my side, but the young ones, I think they have to understand music. Mm. They are doing very well by creating lyrics and going to the studio, not, the lyrics is not yet a music until you put them into the musical structures. Yeah. I'm talking about chord progressions, I'm talking about melodic what kind of 
rhythmic pattern are you going to use? Are you going to use basic or are you going to use polyrhythmic patterns in your music? So these are the areas. And where, where is your target? For me, I realize that my target is not only in Ghana. My target is across the continent or the in whole the world. world really. The world. You know, when I met Stevie Wonder, the first time I played with him, it was like, how dare you use this <laughs> instrument? <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> He was shocked. He yeah. was shocked. He said he wished he can see me. Aww. Yeah, that was way How back. How was that experience like for you? It's an amazing, to be honest. I, I was going to the University of Colorado 2004, the same year, and I had a call from someone that I have to get ready. They want to engage us to perform with someone, but he didn't tell me it was Stevie Wonder. You know, but when I got to that, I was like, wow, I met were him you again. Were starstruck? Yeah? Were you starstruck? Like, were you surprised? I played with him once, uh -huh. but then I was under the Pan-African Orchestra. And the second time, I was like, wow, this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's an amazing friend. He's a nice person. He smiles a lot. Yeah. And he's always doing the music with, you know, <laughs> the way he shakes his head. I think Ray Charles did that a bit, too. You? No, Ray Charles, I think. He yeah, yeah, he also does that. Does yes. that a little bit. Yeah. But who are some of the people you've worked with, and what have you learned? I worked with, I uh, played with Angela Kijo in Ooh. the Nobel's. Peace Prize concert. Oh, how was that like? Amazing. To be honest, I was seeing about 150,000 people sitting, including presidents. You can see Everyone it on YouTube. Yes. To you. Me and uh, Miata Fambule, Akable, um, you know Akable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akable. And um, Eric Antonio. Wow. And then there are a lot of artists from America I play with, also with, um, apart from Stevie Wonder. Richard Bona, I never worked with him. How do you stay humble in it all? I mean, through every, every place you've been in this world. That, that is my character. That's my character. Everybody knows me will tell you the laboratory is always like this. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to, like I told you, I don't want to offend people. If you, if you do, the only thing that makes me angry is when you're you late. Angry. Really? When you're late. That will get you angry. Yes, because there was a time... I was late in the UK. We are going to perform in Scotland. We were leaving from Bristol to Scotland, and I was late. When I came, everybody was on me wow. in the bus. I was. I feel so embarrassed, yeah. so shame. I was like, today is the first and last in my life of this. And you've never been late. I've never. I was here. I was asked to come here at 6 a.m. I got here 15 minutes to 6 o'clock. Wow. Yes, because I don't want to disrespect people's time. I want to respect my time and respect people. Thank you. You're welcome. How has the journey been like as a teacher, you know, passing on the knowledge to other people? I feel so joy when I'm giving uh, uh, my gift to, to other people. I have trained others that I feel so joy that today they are citizens of America and they are staying there. And about 40 of them. Wow. Yes, about 40 of them. Some build their own houses. And I'm so proud that out of this, they are able to buy their own houses, their own cars and stuff like that because we have to think deep about what God has given us. I think the, the government also have to put more uh, effort into the craft. I mean, when you talk about the craft, it's not only the people that goes to the recording studio and record from the studio alone. This is a Ghanaian national instrument. It's a Ghanaian national instrument. I'm not carrying, imagine if Americans came to hijacked me to come and stay in America, to stay there. Can you imagine? That means this thing is already gone. Yeah. It's going to America. So people will come from America to teach. I remember when the, the U.S. government invited me to come and teach. I was the first Ghanaian, actually, first Ghanaian musician the U.S. government has invited to the U.S., which I got the call from the U.S. embassy that I'm um, selected to be part of the a big program called International Visitor Leadership Program. Hmm. So we are going, and they asked me to come, and they filled my form for me at the embassy, and they asked me to bring my passport. It was free visa, I didn't pay. Wow. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to give me something for uh, coffee, it's and when not, I go to the U.S. It's not small, it's not just coffee. Eh? <laughs> no, it's, it's, I mean, it's, more than coffee. it's more than a coffee, of course. <laughs> but we're so proud. Yes. That you've been able to achieve all that with just this yeah. instrument. And of course, your hard work, your grit, your resilience. I'm happy. Your I'm happy. I have to acknowledge the late uh, Professor uh, 
J.H. Komlan Ketia, who shaped my career very well, and also the late Ephraim Amu. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to meet all of them, and my, my former director who educate me, Nana Danso Abiyami, they are so rest mm -hmm. very well. And today I can be proud and say that I have stood for Ghana and Africa on behalf of their legacy. Wikipedia has discovered me as the third current generation of the instrument for Ghana and Africa. Wow. And the reason why I'm saying that the government, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> My, my, myself, Paula, we all want to uh, learn from you. Do you have any classes for amateurs? Yes, I do. I do private classes. Okay. Um, I don't charge much, but it's affordable. <laughs> okay. Currently, I have one student who is from the Ministry of Finance. Nice. Daniel, I'm sure he's watching. What number do we reach you to sign up <laughs> for your classes? Because you need to pass this on. We all need to master this. Okay. We, we might not be as good as you, but at least we can. We can all right. Little my number is 244 36 1071. Okay. 0244 36 1071. And your YouTube channel. My you YouTube is Dela Bottery. D E L A. Bottery is B O T R I. Mm -hmm. And then Instagram is Dela D E L A underscore Bottery. B O T R I. Thank yeah, but so Twitter much. is handled by somebody. Uh, Abek is the one handling it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a message here from John Sika, all the way from Volta Region. Who he says, "I'm very grateful, Mr. Della, and wish to be like you." Oh, God but bless the you. talent is not there. The talent is there. You can sign up for his classes, and you'll get there. Right? Yes, everybody definitely. Everybody can be. Thank you so much, Della, for yes. being with us. You're we welcome. have a quick video uh, from him. We'll check it out and then continue the show. there we hope you enjoyed the show make sure to subscribe like comment and share with your friends this is breakfast daily on city tv join the breakfast daily team monday through fridays from 7 30 a.m to 10 join us for breakfast daily only on city tv